Hey, you guys, come on in. Come on in for a minute. I'm not going to keep you um, too long because I have a um, team meeting to, to, that I'm going to do today. I wanted to talk to you guys. I just did a live um, Tech Tuesday call with my coaching clients that I work with. And um, we log on every week and we talk all about um, uh, everything to do with social media marketing, search engine marketing, and all of that good stuff. And today we talked about video and I thought, you know, I don't think I've ever gone live and, and said anything about video. So I'm going to show you a couple of things and give you guys a couple of tips really quick um, on some of the video equipment. Now, right now, um, I am shooting live from on Facebook Live from my cell phone. And it is inside um, a big round ring. And I'll put the link to that ring on um, up after I post this video. Uh, this is the Diva Light Ring. And um, it, and if you use my link, I appreciate it. I do get a little bit of Amazon credits when you guys um, when you guys use my links. And and what it does is it creates the little the little light around the eyeballs. It makes you look pretty, and then it, it creates this fantastic lighting as well. Okay, so if you're going to be shooting Facebook Live, um, actually, if you're shooting any kind of video, your lighting is very very important. And if you if it's too bright, you look washed out, which I've done sometimes. And if it's too dark then you look ugly because your bag show and your wrinkles show, you know. Um, but it's it's not quite the user experience if you are if you don't have great lighting, okay? Um, also, now let me show you my new, my new lighting that I absolutely love, 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 love. Right here. You see this little baby? That, this is the cowboy... Uh, Cowboy Light Studio, I believe it is. And literally, you guys, I it just sits, see how short it is? It sits on your table. And in my case, I was using the breakfast bar in my kitchen today to shoot my video. It, it sits right on the, the breakfast bar. And two of those, I think I bought mine for, both of them for 40 bucks. And on, they're on sale right now for 30 something. So use my link when I post in this video and get yourself a couple, pretty incredible. You know, audio nowadays is pretty powerful with the cell phones and with the computers and things like that. So if you're in a loud, noisy place, you might have to use an external mic. But a lot of times, like right now, I'm not using any external um, audio whatsoever. I'm shooting straight from my phone with, with, with Facebook Live and, and the audio is um, impeccable. I personally feel it's fantastic, okay? Um, so that's a little bit on the equipment. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about um, ideas and a couple a couple of tips that I shared today. One of them is, did you know that when you make a Facebook Live video, you can actually download that video and load it up into YouTube, or you can actually use the embed code straight from the Facebook Live and put it on a blog post and embed it so that it continues to get those views. So. If you right, if you click on the little arrow after you make the live video, there's going to be an embed option, so you can do that. Or it, what you can do is you just right click on the video and open it in a new tab or open it in a new window, and then add the letter M in front of what you're going to see is HTTPS colon slash slash um, www. Get rid of the www and put an M, and that's actually for mobile. So M dot Facebook, and then click play to play the video right click on the video save as and you'll be able to save that as a downloaded mp4 so now you've got made your facebook live video you can save it and you can upload it into youtube and now it becomes this powerful video for you that that might if you search engine optimize it it might show up on the search engines for you you can embed it onto your blog posts and things like that so um a lot of you guys i mentioned this earlier you get too caught up in how many people are watching your live videos don't worry about that okay keep in mind a couple of things when you're shooting live um, a lot of people have shut off their notifications. They don't even know that you're shooting live or they're not, they may not be interested in that topic. They're busy at work. Um, you are going to want to make sure that they, that, that you're not worried about them being live now, but they're going to be live later. Okay. So what you do is a couple of things. One, people do not realize that you're not live when they're watching it. When they're watching the playback, a lot of people think they're watching it live. And so they engage with your video just like they would as if they were there for the first time. So let me ask you guys all a question on this video, okay? Type in for me, 
how many Facebook video, how many Facebook live videos do you believe you've ever made? If it's zero, type in zero. If it's one, type in one. I bet you we're going to see on here that the number, the numbers are pretty low. Okay. So go ahead and type there in the search bar, how many Facebook live videos you've ever made. And you can put in an average if you want. Okay. So Jennifer's got five in there. That's good, Jennifer. I, I, I'm going to look forward to seeing more because if you can do five, you can do more. Mark hasn't done any, but I, I bet Mark's going to try some now. Robert, really? Zero? Come on. I want to see some of those. Leah, zero. Ryan, one. Okay. What I just did was a real life example of what you should do. When you ask a question and people engage with your video and they start answering, that al Facebook algorithm is going to continue to push your Facebook Live up through the newsfeed. It's going to continue to notify more people. And that engagement is what c causes your posts and your videos and your pictures to continue to rise to the top of the search engines. So if you ask questions, when people are watching this back later tonight, later this afternoon, tomorrow, the next day, and they, they answer, it's going to push this video back up into the news feed. I'm going to get more visits. So always ask questions, invite engagement, get people to type in. Don't worry about the little number of how many are live because it's going to continue to go through that algorithm and you could get it, you know, a thousand, a couple thousand, three thousand. Um, you know, whatever it is as those continue to go. And then if you, if you've created fantastic content, all you have to do is save that video, put it onto your YouTube channel. And now you can continue stretching the use of that video. I'm all about repurposing content. How many, how, how else can I use this content? What if you made a great video called how to sell your house fast, how to sell your Las Vegas house in 10 days, uh, 10 days faster for 10% more money. And you make a video all about how to sell how to how to sell their house. Now I mentioned this earlier too. Did you know that the search engines actually favor longer videos over shorter vid videos? That the more minutes watched on your video and the more minutes watched on your channel actually control some of your rankings. So the longer somebody watches your video and engages with your video on YouTube, the more likely it is to show up on the search engines, the more likely it is to rank, okay? I've got a great new tool I mentioned earlier called called um, Tube Buddy, T U B E Buddy. My but my friend Chase Reiner, who's an SEO guy, um, gave me this little tip on this uh, tool, and it's called Tube Buddy, and it's an extension for YouTube, and you're actually able to make your own labels on there. Um, I mean, your own thumbnails, custom thumbnails with text and images. Um, you can add your tags to your YouTube channel and TubeBuddy will actually suggest additional tabs. It'll tell you what the competition level is for that keyword. It'll tell you who's ranking on the top of YouTube for that keyword so that you kind of know, um, you know, how to go about. Yeah, it's okay, Robert. I got a giggle out of that one too. Some of these names that people, people add things, but obviously YouTube, um, Anyway, so yeah, uh, TubeBuddy will allow you to do all these things. There's a free version. I don't have a link to that one yet. I just started using it. There's a free version, and then there's an upgraded version as well. Um, definitely check out those tools. It'll also auto-post and syndicate your social channels and things like that if you want it to. So there's a whole lot you can do with it um, when it comes to that. I hope to see you guys doing some more video. Nowadays, in 2017, there's no reason not to do it. With this fantastic lighting, with our... Phones now giving us the ability to shoot live. If you're a real estate agent, shoot in the houses, okay? Go to your listing that has a beautiful kitchen, a beautiful living room, a beautiful pool, anything like that, and shoot there. Give tips there. Really simple, I can give you one year's worth of topics, okay? Go to the .com called answerthepublic.com. You can do this with Quora and a couple others, but I really like this site, answerthepublic.com. Type in how to sell a house, and it gives you this slew of questions that people are actually typing into the search engines and into YouTube that are how to sell their house, how to sell a house underwater, how to sell a house when getting divorced, how to sell a house um, right after you buy it, how to sell a house with nine cats, how to, you know, all these different, how to sell a house that smells like smoke. 
all of these questions and you could take all of those questions and each one of those becomes the video in your series. And so you commit once a month and say once a month I'm going to take my, my Facebook Live and my Diva Light Ring or my Tabletop Lights. I'm going to go to a house that I just listed and I'm going to cover one of those little questions. You make the Facebook Live video, maybe it's going to be 15 minutes long. You right click open in a mobile browser, save it as um, a video, upload it into YouTube. Okay. Now you take that video and you create a blog post called How to Sell Your House Fast with nine cats, how to sell your house fast when it smells like smoke, how to sell your house fast when you're getting divorced, you know, all these different topics, right? And then you put the video in there and for a dollar a minute, rev.com will transfer your verbal word into written word and now you have a blog post. So you have the video, then you have a written blog post for if it's a five minute video, it's five bucks. If it's a 15 minute, 15 minute video, it's, it's 15 bucks. And now you've got this series, you put them all in a blog category on WordPress called How to Sell Your House Fast. And just like a playlist, now you have all of this and you're feeding the search engines, embed a home valuation tool, invite people to find out what their home is worth on these blog posts. You will start ranking on the search engines if you've got a, a good website that has some search engine visibility, okay, for this particular series. Um, if you need a real estate website and you don't have one, by the way, I own a marketing company called Ballonbrands.com and we build real estate websites that are powered by IDX Broker, that are Ballon Method certified, that I use every day to drive my business, so check that out. We can also help you turn your blogs, your videos into blog posts with links and images and we can help you get your, M, your home valuation tool and all that. So check us out at Ballon Brands. All right, so um, thanks so much for joining me today. That's it. I hope to see you guys in Vegas for a family reunion. I'll be there on Sunday with Sabrina, staying at Mandalay Bay all week long. Come find us. Jeff will be there in the afternoons. So if you're looking to meet up with any of us and talk about our real estate websites, Infusionsoft, um, you know, my team's the Infusionsoft Whispers. Um, you want to talk about lead cultivation, converting more leads, any of that kind of stuff, just reach out to us. We're doing some one-on-one -on -one meetups. Um, just to say hi and, and to answer any questions and um, come find us while we're there. So that's it. I got to go make brownies for my team meeting. So I will talk to you guys all later.